The future of super yachts, submersible yachts. When you amass a monstrous amount of wealth, there are countless ways to spend it. Designer clothes, fancy cars, and glamorous accessories are some that come to mind. But the rich sometimes prefer to spend their money on something more exclusive, yachts. In recent years, designers have introduced the idea of submersible yachts, which are ultra-premium yachts that can go underwater and are clearly far from mainstream. These designers hope to make these yachts in the future and have been releasing their designs in hopes of attracting attention to their brands. Welcome to Insane Luxury, where we take a look at the most incredible things money can buy. Today, we're going to be looking at four different submersible yacht concepts and why they could be the future of high-ticket yachts as a whole. Our first super yacht is known as the Carapace and was designed by Alina Nappi, an Italian naval architect. This stunning submersible yacht is just as competent above the surface as it is below, able to dive up to 985 feet and stay there for a whopping 10 days, coming in at 256 feet in length, complete with three deck levels, VIP cabins, a lounge, spa, bar, and many other amenities. It's obvious that Nappy wanted to push the boundaries while staying familiar. She also claims the Carapace is part of a new class of mega yachts by combining all the best aspects of the enormous boats and those that can sustain the depths of a body of water. Although these features are inspiring, it still remains only a concept, with Nappy asserting the fact that it is not hard to understand that the road to this type of boat is still very far away. Next up is a 928-foot-long monster named the M7, and it spares no expense. Boasting helipads, jacuzzis, and a hyper-premium interior, it might seem like a private jet, but it's more like an F-15 fighter. In fact, the design was directly inspired by the US Navy's Zumwalt-class destroyer ships. And much like the military's arsenal, the M7 is rumored to be in the 10-figure range potentially costing $2.3 billion. However, this yacht concept has very real safety concerns, even more than the Carapace, since it's expected to be able to descend 1,500 feet and move at 20 knots. Migaloo is the company that designed this submersible yacht, and they have plans to address these concerns in the coming years as they work towards making this concept a reality. You might be part of the Mile High Club, but why not join the Mile Low Club as well? Oliver's Travels, a premium travel agency, plans to escort passengers in this stunning yacht, Lover's Deep. Designed exclusively to bring couples below the surface, it features a luxurious interior, ballroom, and even a personal butler and chef. The cooking on board is catered to romance, much like the rest of the boat from rose petals and champagne in the rooms to soundproofed quarters for the staff. This yacht offers an enjoyable experience to everyone aboard. This yacht, while much less of one a billionaire might actually purchase, still feeds into the vision of a high-end underwater experience. And finally, returning to a concept yacht that the wealthy might pick up for themselves, we have the Nemo. Designer Edwin van der Mark sees the Nemo as the one-for-all solution to owning the seas for the high rollers around the world. And at 335 feet in length, you can be hosting parties on one end of the yacht and relaxing on the other, and the experiences would be completely partitioned. However, the Nemo remains one of the more ambitious concepts, and whether it'll ever go for sale is a toss-up since the submersion capabilities alone would be groundbreaking. But why? Concepts, whether it's a car, plane, or submersible yacht, could never be developed and sold. So why should we even care? That's exactly why they exist, for our imagination. As humans, we've always existed to push the envelope on what's possible. And that's why concept yachts should be watched. There's clearly a very real market for a luxury boat that can be submerged. Maybe it's just for the obvious reasons, like being able to see marine life in the most luxurious way possible, or even to hold secret business meetings. But regardless, it allows for a dream. Even though these concepts might seem insane and unrealistic, 
large companies are working towards making submersible yachts a reality, and we could very well see one of these concepts go for sale in the future. Submersible yachts arguably represent the future of super yachts for the plain reason of being able to do more. These concept yachts are not marketed towards the working class, hundreds of feet in length, diamond encrusted interiors and exteriors and everything in between because these designers know that a few million in value either way won't swing the opinion of who's being targeted and when they go all in on the luxury they end up grabbing headlines for the sheer value they've created the chatter has obviously started even if production on these yachts hasn't yet millionaires and billionaires alike are in awe of a dream they might have never imagined before and it's amazing. And as the needle for what defines a super yacht begins to move, it will be interesting how this idea influences the rest of the industry. Will lower end boats begin to be submersible? Or is it a feature that will remain only for the most expensive super yachts? Time will tell as yet another class evolves with the innovation of the 21st century. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.